No matter how much you use AutoCAD MEP to produce your construction documents, you still will use some basic AutoCAD annotation tools. The ones you will use the most are the multi-leader command and the dimensioning tools. You can find these tools on the Annotate tab of the ribbon in all work sets. From the Annotate tab, Label panel, select the Leaders tool. The M Leader tool is now active. Pick a point on the toilet in the handicap stall. This places the leader arrowhead first. Pull the leader straight up to place the landing. This is all based on the default style that was set up in the template used to create the view. The MText dialog appears. Right click and pick AutoCaps to force all the text to be uppercase. Type in the text Toilet Edge Elevation at 18 inches AFF. Press Enter as needed to wrap the text. Select OK when you are finished. The text size is based on the scale, and leaders are annotated by default. So use this for all your non tag text and notes. Pick the grip on the top left of the text. You can drag the text anywhere you want, and the leader goes with it. Change the scale, and the same text shows at a different size. When you pick the text now, you can see each scale example, so you can see larger text in different locations and smaller text. Nice! Press Escape to stop editing the text. Next, add some dimensions. Select the AEC Dimension Interior tool. This is an enhanced version of the standard AutoCAD dimensions that works with object-based geometry. The dim add command starts. The command line prompts you to either select objects or pick points, so type in P and press Enter, so you can use MEP snaps for dimension points. Pick the drain connection on the toilets. When you get to the last fixture, press Enter and then locate the dimension string. Again, these are annotated. With pick points, you can pick any snap point, AutoCAD or MEP, and use them to create the string. Once you are finished, press Enter to complete the command. Here is a neat feature. Start another dimension by using the Dimension tool located on the Annotate tab. As you move your cursor over a circular or radial shape, a preview of the dimension appears. One of the options allows you to toggle between radius and diameter dimensions, which can really save time. Press Escape to cancel this command. Change the scale again and watch the annotations resize themselves. The Dimension panel gives you several options for dimension styles, so you can edit these in your template and set the formatting any way you want. To change anything on the dimension, pick it. Pick the gray circle grip. This opens the Edit in Place feature and lets you move text, dimension lines, extension lines, and more. Annotation has gotten easier over the years, but these are definitely some of the nicest improvements. Use them to finish your drawings even faster.